Hey guys, RevitUp7 here. Today we had a kind of unique video idea. Not that these types of tier list videos are unique or anything, but just I've never seen anybody do one for Hot Wheels before. So we are going to be ranking the original 16 Hot Wheels cars for 1968. We're gonna rank them on like the traditional S through F scale and just kind of based upon how good of a casting is, if it's accurate, if it caught on and became one of their best cars. And uh, we're just gonna be ranking the original 16 Hot Wheels cars. So. Starting off here, we have the custom Barracuda. I think that the Barracuda is a very cool car. Um, this is an accurate casting, especially for 1968, but you didn't see many Barracudas catch it. Like, the Barracuda never became like a flagship of the Hot Wheels series or anything like that, but it's an accurate casting. It's got to open, you can open the hood up and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a C. Yeah. I think it'll be in the middle of the I road like that, if you yeah. start in the middle of the road. I feel like any color would make that car look cool. Yeah, the, the, the blue Plymouth, is the cool The Plymouth Cuda is a very popular muscle car these days, and they're worth tons of money, but the Barracuda was the first one, and while it's a great car, the Cuda kind of overshadows it. Next up is the 1968 Camaro, custom Camaro. Um, here's a, you can see it big. I like this because here's one right here. Here's one right here. Oh, they, they, they still use a casting similar to this, and... I love the canopy of the original one, the black soft top, and I think it looks very cool. I like the custom Camaro. What do you think? Uh, I would, I gotta say... I'm saying A. Yeah. A? Yeah, okay. I agree. I'm gonna put it at the A. Next up, Beatnik Bandit. That's pretty cool. I this... gotta say, for the first 16 Hot Wheels cars, they they got pretty creative on this. Like, yeah, I'm this not gonna is, lie. Yeah, this is the one of the first fantasy models. It's actually based upon a real car that somebody made but it's a custom car i, I gotta put um, that as an a very cool looking car it's got like a sort of spaceship canopy like that's, that's creative like imagine like the first ever hot wheels car like say if if i created the first ever hot wheels car it'd probably be something classic like that barracuda or something like nothing like this yeah this is pretty unique i think it's, awesome. based, it's based upon somebody's real custom but at the time probably people didn't know that and hot wheels introduced them to this car looks pretty cool in this neon paint scheme i think it'd look good in just about everything and it's got the actual the motor sticking up in it I think this is pretty cool. I think it's the coolest of the original 16, or at least one of the. I'm going to put it up at S. How does that sound? Yeah, that sounds awesome. Next up. Oh, heck yeah. My brother's okay. favorite car. The Corvette Stingray. Corvette Stingray. One of my favorite cars in real life right now, and favorite for Hot Wheels. I got to say it, any color would look good on this car, but especially for the first ever Hot Wheels car. A one, like one Corvette, of the first. One yeah. of the first Hot Wheels cars for Sweet 16. Corvette Stingray, perfect fit, so I got to put it on the A with the you thinking but, A? I'm thinking A, but if I put S, I feel like it's like it's just a classic looking Stingray. I think it's okay. The reason why I'm leaning towards B is because the wheels of this car, it doesn't look like it's a monster truck. Oh my gosh! Yeah, like, now yeah, I see it. They don't even fit. The, they don't fit in the fenders. Oh my gosh! And I think it's a cool casting. Yeah. But the wheels don't fit in the fenders. I actually have a couple of these from this era. Not that not like they're not in good shape or anything. They kind of look like this. Yeah. But they don't roll very well. The axles are bent. But yeah, it is yeah. a pretty cool car. I'm going to say B, but it is a pretty cool car. I'm going to say B. Next up, this is, I think this is called the Custom Fleet Side. Um, okay. I'm, this car is overshadowed by another car, so I don't think it can rank yeah, it that high. Yeah, I was about to say, this is not that good in my opinion. It's, it's just a pickup truck. The Fleet Side is overshadowed by Diora. I think it's just a, just looks like a generic Chevy pickup truck from this era. Um... And the proportions are a little weird. Like, it's yeah, got I'm these tiny wheels, it's long. I'm not a big fan of this truck. It'd be kind of cool if it was a short bed muscle yeah. pickup truck, but Me either. I'm, I'm going to give it a D. None of these cars are that bad, so I don't think we're going to have any in E or F. But, you know, I'm going to put it in D because it's just kind of overshadowed by this, the original Diora. Okay, the original Diora is killing it. Like, for a first car, though, and what mm -hmm. they've done over the years with it. Mm -hmm. I think they're killing. Like, they made this car look so much better. Like, if they didn't make another generation of the Dior, I would got to say this one would probably be, like, a C, maybe, like, a cool car. But now that I'm starting to think about it, they made it Dior 2, Dior 3. I got to put it up with an A because they're starting to make... Get, I'm, a? I don't know. I think this is the best one of the original 16. You think so? They, well, Dior... I don't know, actually. Just last year. I mean, I think, was it 2020 or 2019? In, yeah. Dior 3? What like, am I thinking? Hot Wheels has been around for how many years now? 52? And this was in the first year, and they they're still making follow-ups to this car. And up until like maybe ten years ago, the original Diora, this is one of Hot Wheels' most iconic fantasy models. Very cool, based on the Dodge Diora okay, concept yeah. car. I think this is going to S. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll about to agree with this you. This is a there. legendary car. 
you got the plastic surfboards on the original one. It's hard to find those with the surfboards these days, but um, oh, man. I'm still saying an S tier. Next up, this is the Coke's custom Volkswagen, I think it's what it's That's called. That's cool. Very cool. The original, the actual Volkswagen Beetle has a V8 in the back. Reminds me of Evil I mean, Evil. I mean, it has not a V8 in the back. It has a small little, I don't know how many cc engine in the back. The custom Volkswagen, they stuck a V8 in the front. You got exhaust pipes on the side. Very cool. I, Evil Weevil is almost this. Yeah, they literally. Might, they might be the same thing. Um, very cool looking car. I actually have a green one of these. Uh, it's loose and poor shape, but I do have a green one of these. Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna give it an. I'm gonna give it A. I'm yeah, gonna put this in the A. a. Too, this is yeah. pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's like between A or B in my opinion, but I would mm -hmm. give it a. Next up, this this is oh, the custom yeah. T-Bird. It, it's the most forgettable of the original 16, I think. It's cool. I like the layout. I got the little hood scoop here. Um, little like raised that. up hood, the soft top. But honestly, it's kind of forgettable. I like it. I like it. It's nice. Yeah. But this never became a like a, like a generation thing. kind of look. What do you mean? Like where they make another look of it, but in well, they never be it never caught on as one of the most popular ones. I don't think. But it's still it's still cool. As I said, none of these are bad necessarily. And they are the first 16, so they all are important in their own light. But you got the custom Camaro, you got the Mustang coming up, the Barracuda. These are all, this is kind of overshadowed. By this time, the Ford Thunderbird wasn't really their coolest car in 1968. The Thunderbird had its time in the 50s, and afterwards it kind of fizzled out. I'm saying, I don't even think it's on there with the Barracuda. I'm putting this at D on the fleet okay. side. Next up is the Mercury Cougar. I think, yeah, this is the custom Cougar. What a color, though. Yeah, it's in this olive green. I like the Mercury Cougar. Um, I like the the like the, the hood scoop here is a little more unique. And once again, you got the soft top on this car. I think it looks really nice. I don't think it sticks out as anything wicked yeah, special. Yeah, I was about to say that. Like, I don't think it really yeah shows out. Well, they still made this Cougar ca casting for a long time. They didn't do it with the T-Bird. So this one's a little more important. But once again, it's just another muscle car that from the from the time period. So it doesn't really stick out to me too much. I'm putting it at C. What would, would you agree? Uh, I was gonna say D, cause you know, like D? how you, I don't it's, know. It's cooler than the Thunderbird and the Fleet side. You're right. Yeah, C. I'll put it at C. All right, here we are. The custom Mustang. Oh man. What I a car. yeah. I really like this Mustang because it's got the fast back rear end. It reminds me of the Bullet Mustang from the Bullet movie. Um, very cool, iconic chase scene associated with this Mustang and this body style. Um, like the hood scoop. Once again, this is another one of the cars where you can open the hood. And the Mustang is just more iconic than the Thunderbird at this era. I think this is pretty sick. I like how the the back end of these is raised a little more. All of these cars, by the way, have suspension. That was a big thing in the original Hot Wheels cars. Um, I don't think this is as iconic, iconic of a casting as the Camaro. So I'm going to put it at B. With the Stingray? Yeah, I'm going to put it at B with the Stingray. All even, all even. That's good. Next up. The Firebird, the custom Ooh. Firebird. This one looks like it's missing the hood. The picture that I got for this one, it's missing the hood. But I think the Firebird is sick. It's a convertible. It's got the little, the little wing on the back, the little lip. Man, imagine an, an orange would be a fire. Yeah. yeah, I think this is a very cool car. It's longer than the others. I remember. I, I don't have any of these, but I remember being longer. I've seen a couple. And the grill of this Firebird has, it's like indented, and there's black paint on the inside of it pretty cool the camaro and the firebird are almost identical from this era but the castings are different i like this the flair that this has i don't think it's as iconic as the camaro but i'm putting it at b what do you think uh i gotta say it's cool like i don't know if i'm it's just because like i'm a big firebird fan or whatever but I, I would i would put it probably put it at c but it's whatever you think a b well what do you I, i'm thinking b i'm thinking c i don't know I, it might just because like i'm not a big fan of it all right. But, uh, now we can't do metal. Yeah, yeah, I wish you can do that. Let me do. Rock paper scissors. All right. Oh, all right. let's go. It's going down to C. All right. Imagine we got like all the same for the scissors too. I'm doing this in Photoshop. It's the only way I could do it without making a count on a tier list thing. All right. Next up, the Cadillac Eldorado. I think this is the way cooler version of the T-Bird. <laughs> It's, so, it's it's got the same stance as the T-Bird does, but with a meaner front end, more detail, and a nicer hood scoop. It's like the luxury car of the original 16. But then again, 
It's just a Cadillac from the time, so it's a little forgettable. And if we didn't give the Firebird a B, I'm putting this at C as well. Okay. It's got that American Rolls Royce look to it, though, where it's like a big bellowing car, but not much to it. Yeah. Right? It never became a consistent casting or anything like that, like the Camaro and the, all these legendary cars did. <sighs> Next up, this was a hard one. I, I like this one actually. I'm starting to like that. I don't know if I like it or I don't like it. I don't know if I, I don't like the decals on any of these. I think the original cars shouldn't have decals. I don't but. know if it's just like because how whole old the car is, and it's just because like the stupid kind of color look. But I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like this car. It's like I don't know if it's a race car or. Well, it's definitely a race car. It's the Ford J car concept. Um, I kind of like it. I don't know why. Yeah. Like I feel like if they put it in a different color, it's got that '60s race car look to it. The color of the color. This isn't the only color they came in. No, I know they came but. in with so many more. But I'm just saying, I I, th I feel like I might have like a different opinion because of the color look Maybe. on it. I, I think the proportions of this look a w little weird. I don't know if that's the way it looks in real life. I don't really know, but I always thought this car looked a little weird. Um, I why do I, I don't like it? I don't know why. I I, I think it's my one of my least favorite of all the original ones. I don't think the decal looks too good, especially if it's the only car with a decal. What are you thinking? I'm thinking C. Yeah, I was about to say C too. C. You really C. were? Yeah. Okay. I, I like it. I think it's cool. All right, we're running out of room at the C's. So we're gonna have to move some cars over if we have another C. All right, next up is the Hot Heap. This is a pretty cool... That's a creative car for a first one. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool tea bucket. That's what I was talking about with this one right here. Like the, mm -hmm. that That's pretty creative for a first generation car. That's why I'm like always impressed because like, yeah. that's an awesome idea. Looks like a, it's based upon a Ford Model T. You can see the stitching in the seat, the straight up windshield, the that's, straight up that's steering wheel. That's impressive. Like That's it's what I'm talking about. Very cool. Um, they still... Hot Heap wasn't around for too long, I don't think, but they had a couple variations of, of this car that they're still being casted today. I'm going to give it an A. Yeah, I think same. it's A. Not wicked iconic like Beatnik Bandit and Diora. But, but pretty impressive for a first. Yeah, this is, this is up there with probably the coolest cars that you could get at this time. All right, second to last, the Cheetah. This, I really like the Cheetah. You like the Cheetah? I really like it. It's awesome got the, name, too. The front end of a Corvette. It's got this weird back end of like a dune buggy. It's a weird car and it's a fantasy. One of the one of the actual fantasy cars that like Beatnik Bandit is somebody's custom that Hot Wheels recreated. Dodge Diora, it's a Dodge Diora. Cheetah and Silhouette are actual Hot Wheels fantasy cars and are the like the original two or three. Very cool, I think. This car looks. It's got like the Corvette inspired front end. I think I just said that, but the big blower motor sticking out of the yeah. top. I'm giving this an A. I'm giving that an A. I'll give it an A too. Think so? Yeah. Okay. And this next one's going to be difficult because you want to give it an S because it's a fantasy car. But what do we think in the original silhouette? I honestly like this. I like silhouette. The purple's not that good on it, but... My thing with silhouette, when we're comparing it to the other cars here, is it's got this cool spaceship, like the Jetsons yeah. looking... like the first one. ...canopy. But it doesn't look anywhere near as cool as Beatnik Bandit to me. Yeah. Um, it's got the same front end. I mean, the same um, motor sticking out of the top. But I think it's pretty cool. I don't think it's as cool as Cheetah. But it is such an iconic car. I'm tempted to give it an A. An A. Um, there's a Silhouette 2. And the Silhouette 2 was popular. I like the, yeah. Until like the mid-2000s. So Silhouette 2. So this this was a, an influential car. I'm going to say a B in my opinion. B? Because B? Cheetah wasn't really popular. Oh, you're right. I mean, it, well, they don't they don't make Cheetah anymore. They still make Silhouette 2. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. I'll give it an A. I'll give it an A. Well, that makes me tempted to put Cheetah down at B. I really like Cheetah, but is it really that... Yeah. I think I'm going to put... I really like Cheetah, but it's going to go back down to B, just because Silhouette is so much more influential. I don't think that's fair. But here's our uh, updated list, our tier list of these original 16 Hot Wheels cars. You got Beatnik Bandit and Diora up at the top. They're legendary. Then you got the custom Camaro, which was casted for decades. The Beetle, which I think was really creative and cool to do that to a car that's so underpowered or at the time even. You got Hot Heap, another awesome car. Silhouette, legendary. And then got at, at C and B, you have a lot of just the traditional muscle cars from the area that are still cool. And then D, we got um, Fleetside and the... Thunderbird. Thunderbird, in my opinion, overshadowed by the Mustang and the Cadillac Eldorado. 
and the fleet side is really overshadowed. If I had that. to like choose like one like that I absolutely don't like, it's got to be that um the what do you call it? the custom fire wait what is it called fire side or whatever the purple truck yeah the fleet purple. side yeah fleet I don't even like that one like for yeah. understand maybe yeah it's the first generation but ah uh, man they have I'd a, rather they have a rocket else. a rocket show truck that kind of looks like that fleet side truck it's got you can launch rockets off of it and that was a big thing a little bit later on but at I'm not big into it I'm not a big truck guy either. So, I don't know, I'm just going to put that down there, and the Thunderbird's a little forgettable to me. Yeah. But overall, the original 16 cars were awesome and laid the groundwork for the rest of them, so they can't, that's why you don't really got anything at E or F, because they're not bad. So, I think that's a good list. Yeah, good list. I, I like it, I like it. Mm -hmm. I feel like we all agree with this. Mm -hmm. Sorry about I don't got any sheets on my bed, I'm washing my bed sheets right now. Bad time to film this, but we figured, you know, we got all the, we got the idea fresh in our mind, let's just record it. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this. We can maybe do them with the Hot Wheels Velocity X cars. Yeah, definitely. Or um, cars from the Hot Wheels World Race movie. Any other assortments you think we should do. Like the best Hot Wheels from the 2000s or the best from the 80s or anything like that. Yeah. So let us know if you enjoy these. They can become a regular thing on this channel. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Subscribe for more videos. Hope you guys are staying safe. Bye. Bye.